Hoig is first mentioned in the 1160s and became a borough in 1511 and today is famous for rugby and textiles. This is the largest of the border towns and was the site of a major livestock market, today a supermarket, where more than a quarter of a million sheep a year would be sold. One local who became a national hero was yachtsman Che Blythe. The town is famous for the common ridings, which represents the young single men or callants of the village, who fought and won the small but memorable skirmish in 1514 nearby at Hornshoe. This was only a year after Flodden, which had seen the menfolk of the town lost in battle, leaving only the youth to defend it. At the beginning of June, the young lads ride out behind the cornet, chosen by his predecessors. The cornet is dressed in a traditional top hat and green coat. One of Scotland's famous exports, textiles, is worth nearly £2 billion a year and Hoyk alone exported some £110 million worth and was one of the largest exporting centres per head of population in the UK. Knitting began here as a cottage industry in 1771 when a local magistrate, Bailey John Hardy, introduced the first stocking frame. By 1820, over 320,000 pairs a year were made on 500 frames, increasing a few years later to 1,200 frames. World-famous woollen manufacturers such as Pringle, Peter Scott, Lyle and & Scott and Barry all originate from here. <laughs>